So now we have the Pharaoh's egg. So let's equip that pet. And let's feed that pet. And see what we get. Use all these strawberries up. Why are strawberries only worth like, one experience? Hey guys, and welcome back to World Zero with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys liked today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I've been having a lot of fun with this game. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. And I did max out our uh, the pet raptor. I don't know about his ability. I haven't used it yet. Um, obviously, every time they level up 10 levels, they change their ability. Um, and his perks also. So his perk one is bonus pet food, chance, whatever. Resist poison. I'm pretty sure these are all perks to you. So resist poison, 41%. And bonus health regen is plus 5%. So some of these these dungeons now, um, especially on in World Three, have gotten really really cool. They're they're massive, like they they make you use a lot of parkour skills, I guess you'd say. Um, so they're really good dungeons, like, and it does look like dungeons are fairly easy when it's just me doing it by myself. It seems like they the game automatically makes it easier when you're soloing versus when you're uh, in a group. I've noticed I've played a couple of times in like large groups. And the dungeons are, they're super hard. Also, with this world event going off, uh, if we get two uh, tier two tokens here, we'll be able to uh, get a new class, which is Berserker Paladin or Mage of Light. More than likely, we're going to go with the Berserker. The Berserker seems to be the same as the Guardian, just a little bit better. And any second now, this world will start, or this <laughs> world event. There we go. And where is it? Oh, there he is. So let's go like this. A slam. How did I put my weapon away? Huh, Q puts your weapon away. Who knew? And of course, we're getting aggro. <laughs> so I did, I did just use our uh, pet's ability to poison him. So you can see there's a 23. Ooh. Nope. Don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> So, also, um, as a tank, obviously, if you, you can kite, sorry, if you grab the aggro of the enemy, and you start kiting them, especially if you have low life, you can actually, um, run around for about, I think it's like 10 seconds of being disengaged in battle, like, even with them following you, you will get, uh, you'll start to regen your health, and also, if you have other players, they'll actually be able to attack that boss. Yes. Okay. Let's, first of all, take a look at our sword here. Attack up 4%. Meh. Kind of sucks, though. We're about to change our class when we just got a great sword. Oh, well. All right. Let's switch to Berserker. Unlock. So let's check these abilities out. E. Slam. Okay. R. That's kind of cool. F. F. That's actually really cool. And then X, we're going to have to wait for it to charge up. All right, so it's been a while. Uh, I mean, Joseph had to grind out three levels, and it actually took quite some time. We spent, uh, I think we ran the one dungeon 3-2 ten times. But I got a spooky aura chest, so let's check it out. Um, okay. And. And. Not 100% sure what that was. Um, yeah. I guess we'll never know. In this dungeon, at least there's some legendary, so hopefully we can get a, a legendary. One of us, if not both of us. I guess for us, any dual wielders, you gotta work a little bit harder. Or, but I don't get that. Uh, battle pass, spooky aura chest. Tradable. So did I get like a different skin or something like that? I don't have a clue. Boosts, cash shop, no. Oh wait, yeah, let's uh, go inventory, cosmetics. Whip. Right? Oh cool, it's your weapon.
So purely, I'm pushing myself to the edge, not letting go away. Been testing myself by the worst, I've been pushing my mind to the most. I've been loving the people around me, but I'm so paranoid, I'm so paranoid, yeah. Wow, that was pretty, uh, pretty close. Um, yeah, luckily I just, no way. <laughs> just got a legendary i did not which legendary did he get i wonder I'm, i love how you get to see other people's loots here oh it's a staff <laughs> i don't think he knows that we're recording right now i'm giving it to you okay apparently i don't get a choice here you guys <laughs> Hey, uh, what do you want to say? There was a glitch. <laughs> and there, I was trading uh, somebody and I was just cursing over top of their sheep, as you guys can see here. And uh, yeah, I glitched. They closed the trade window really quickly. Now, just so you guys know, Joseph did not give me his legendary. He is keeping it as far as I'm going to try and make it that he keeps it. But either way, if that's really good for him that he got a legendary. I'm jealous. I'm seriously jealous. I haven't gotten a legendary yet. You know, why not? Why not? Why can't I have a legendary? No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyways, uh, 10 more class tier 2 tickets. We're at 59 out of 75 for the next one. So Joseph has been playing, what is it, the Mage of Light here? And uh, 
he does enjoy it and it is it's working really really well for us like it's protect he's uh, able to shield us heal us and then do some damage not a lot of damage but uh i think the paladin um is a little bit better choice just because it seems like you're able to attack um when he attacks as major light he loses life so he's i think he's gonna try the Paladin for the next class, but either way, it doesn't really matter. Universal's Universal Winers in here. Why is everybody a higher level than me? Like, isn't this a brand new game? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I am going to do this first quest. We'll get this eggs, Pharaoh's egg going, and uh, we'll see what we get from it. All right, you guys, me and Joseph just did a world event, and I finished off the quest. So now we have the Pharaoh's egg. So let's equip that pet. And let's feed that pet and see what we get. Use all these strawberries up. Why are strawberries only worth that one experience? I think they'd be worth a little bit more, no? I love how donuts are worth so much more. <laughs> Alright, it looks like Joseph got like a, a lion cub or something. Like that. And I got a butterfly. We should name him Butterfree. Eh. Ear roof? Okay. Cone Flappy, sure, why not? <laughs> so it's his ability. Nothing special at the moment. Uh, so let's feed him some more. I don't think we're gonna get too many levels out of him, but like not 10 for sure. Not with what we have for food. Uh, and I think that's it. That's all we have at the moment. We gotta level this guy to max level, this guy to max level. We got two raptors. I do have two sets of armor here, but as you guys see, Cloak of Sands is 19,061, 19, and Resist Poison, and then this one, this Desert Wanderer, is 1906, but this one is max level, or leveled it up at level 38, and it's 26,179, with 6% bonus gold and 4% bonus health regen, and I wanted the health regen more than anything, so we'll sell both of those. Uh, we'll get rid of this Great Axe. And we'll get rid of that one, too. Joseph has a lot of candy. Yeah, and for us to get to the next dungeon, or to do the next dungeon, we have to be level 45. So, obviously, we gotta do a bunch of grinding. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. If you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And that is a cool-looking pet. Honey, I'm a perfect ten.